what's going on guys? Heads here from Infinity Loops and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at the Beta FPV Pavo 20 Pro with the DJI 03. <laughs> We'll start with the hard part. The price of this currently without the VTX and camera is $104.99. That'll give you the ducts, the frame, the motors, props, flight controller, and I believe the cob lights all come with that. And then you just need to dress it up with your own VTX and camera. Speaking of things that it comes with, let's go over a few of those now. We have 2.2 inch tri-blade gem fan propellers. And those tri-blade props are spinning on top of the 1104 7200 kV lava series motors by Beta FPV. The brains of this operation would be the Beta FPV F4 2-3S 20 amp all-in-one. It's listed as the V1. I don't know what significance that plays, but the flight controller is listed as a V1, F4 20 amp 2-3S Beta FPV uh, this does have an XT30 tail soldered onto it as well. According to Beta FPV's website, they say that this should be compatible with the DJI 03 Air Unit, which we will be flying today, as well as the Cadex Vista Kit or the Runcam Link VTXs. As far as cameras, this should be able to support the 03 and then the Cadex and Runcam cameras. I believe it's like 19 to 20 millimeter. Uh, with right here in between the two posts. So as long as it fits within there, you should be good. They also included this sweet cob light that runs around the frame. I had to install this. This just came in the box as is. I will say though, the cob strip as well as the canopy mounting the VTX and camera in it, this was by far one of the easiest bind and flies I've ever had where you had to throw a VTX and camera in it and uh, everything just kind of went together really well and very easily. The air unit sits in there really snug and it doesn't really take a whole lot to get it mounted into the canopy. The whole thing just comes off together. The canopy holds the camera and VTX and antenna all together. So that's very nice. I, I really like the design of it and it was incredibly easy to put together. I was, As I was putting it together, I kept thinking to myself, I have to mention just how simple this has all been so far. And finally, we will be using these 3S 550 milliamp lava series batteries these are by beta fpv they come with an xt30 connector on the top thank you to beta fpv for sending these out along with the quad so you know these are fresh batteries going through these we're going to be looking at about four to five minutes of flight time on average that i got with these flying around the house was a little better than flying outside for me just because we've been dealing with storms like half the rest of the country has been for the last two weeks or so so it's been a lot of rain and a lot of wind when it's not raining so I've been trying to fly in between storms, but a lot of the footage is gray or windy. So if you notice it kind of fighting the wind or shaking a little bit, I can promise you it's not the tune. It's just fighting the elements currently. Right now, it's really the only outdoor flights I can get. And normally, I fly Cinewhoops pretty aggressive anyways for these reviews, just to kind of see how they handle things. But this one in particular, Beta FPV on their own website, their words, not mine, said that this was exclusively sculpted for freestyle shooting. All right, that's enough out of me. Let's get into some of that flight footage. Today we're gonna to be looking at a healthy balance of cinematic and freestyle flight footage, considering they say this is sculpted to do freestyle shooting. I wanted to make sure that I put it through those freestyle paces. So you should see a good balance of that. I hope you enjoy We'll talk a little bit after that.
Well, I will say I am impressed with Beta FPV. They lately have just been putting out really, really good quality stuff, and, uh, and I'm happy to see that. This is no different. This was fantastic. Right out of the box, the flight was pretty good. I, it's not great, but it's also a Cinewhoop, so I kind of have to factor that in. You're not really going to get a Cinewhoop with its weight and build uh, to fly very well. Not like a normal quad, not like we would normally get. So I do have to kind of factor that in when we're doing these flights. So for a Cinewhoop, it handles fantastically. Right out of the box, you're not going to need to mess with the tune any, unless you're one of those tuners that you know, gets down into the nitty gritty and wants to get picky with it, you can do that for sure. I'm sure there's room to, to smooth it out. But me just flying it right out of the box, freestyling, power loops, whatever, uh, it catches itself just fine. It has plenty of power to do so. And as far as crashing or durability of this, I didn't do too many full on just smash it into a wall. I don't really want to cook my only DJI 03 that I have. So instead, I just flew it like normal. And if I crashed, I crashed. We had a couple tumbles on the pavement. I actually chewed into the cob strip a tiny bit. They all still work just fine. Some of the rubber peeled off the front there. But outside of that, the frame itself is actually very sturdy. And uh, having the camera on that floating platform that they've been doing with this Pavo series is really nice just to keep your footage nice and steady and stable. Even in the wind, you can get really clean shots out of it if you can just kind of keep your hands steady enough and uh, counter the wind. But overall, I am very impressed with this. The flight times I was able to get out of it, the power to weight was pretty good. For a Cinewhoop, it was really good, but for as far as the quad's concerned, it was pretty good. The weight on this build with the battery is low enough to where I didn't really feel nervous flying this around my son or around any of our vehicles because if I ran into it or him, it wouldn't really do much in the way of damage. This is pretty well protected as far as the props are concerned. And otherwise, it's a very light feeling build. It doesn't feel like a heavy DJI cinema. So if you were I or I were you and I was maybe doing some 107 work or I just wanted to maybe film a local car show or chase some of my buddies while they drive their Drift RC cars, I might want to pick up something like this, especially if I already have one of the listed VTXs or cameras sitting around at home and they're just looking for a drone. The Pavo 20 Pro might be the move, especially, like I said, you want to do local car shows, smaller events, you know, not chasing a horse across a big field, maybe chasing your dog across the backyard or filming a family reunion, maybe a small birthday that's outdoors. This would be nice and calm around people. It's not too intimidating, only 3S in the air, and it is fairly light, so it's not screaming through the air exactly. It also is light enough to where if you are bumping it into someone or something, there is a very low chance that you will do any damage to the quad itself or the thing or person you're bumping into. So if you got 105 bucks burning a hole in your pocket and you're looking for something new to drop that O3 air unit into, maybe give a look to the Pavo 20 Pro from Beta FPV. I'll leave a link down below in the description where you can pick one of these up for yourself if you were interested. Full disclosure, that is an affiliate link. And once again, Beta FPV did send the quad and batteries out for us to have a look at and review. So thank you again to Beta FPV. And thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves, and we will see you in the next one. Is Uwu still cool? Are we still doing Uwu? Ew.